Hello everybody, I uh, couldn't resist doing another video and thought I'd show you actually uh, how fast this thing can spin because uh, I've been running it pretty, you know, pretty modestly lately. Um, I've got, basically I've got two sets of magnets on here. So I got eight, eight magnets on this thing all together and uh, the top ones are just held on by the strength of the magnets right now so uh, I'm wearing safety glasses in case something spins off but uh, right now I got it basically I have it on a 10 ohm resistor with two 25k or not k but 25 ohm pot so right now I only have uh, 60 ohms on the circuit so I, I really don't need very much resistance to make this thing work so anyways, let's just show you. So like I say, right now I'm about 60, 60 ohms right now. And there we go. So I'm, I'm turning the resistance down right now to speed her up. I don't know if you guys can see the meters or not, but right now I'm running, I'm drawing about uh, 700 milliamps. I have no idea how fast this thing's going. <laughs> I don't have a uh, RPM meter, but and I noticed there's these little sweet spots in here where at any given speed it suddenly gets more efficient. So I, I think that's the back EMF thing taking effect at, at various speeds so I think the the tuning of these circuits is really critical it kind of drop the amps drop back down again and now they're starting to go back up crank it a little faster uh starting a little paranoid because I have magnets fly all over the shop one day. But I finally found the last magnet, by the way. So that's the sucker cranking way up. I'm going to crank it back down here. Now I'm going to put more resistance on and try to go as slow as I can, just for fun. So I'm going to add basically another 50 ohms for this thing so I'm running about 110 ohms right now obviously going a lot slower I'm gonna back that off and add a hundred Another hundred ohms. So I have what, 160 ohms on there now. And right now it's only pulling about 33 or 3 330 amps, milliamps. Sorry, and it's still putting out about 90. seems like I can only get it to go down to about 200 milliamp draw at the at the best more like 220 there's, like I can say there's definitely these little spots where I notice the amperage go up uh, on the battery charge Well, that's as slow as I can make it go right now. I didn't add enough resistors in here. But I'm drawing about uh, 260 right now, maybe 270. And it's been pretty slow. You know, it doesn't take much to stop it at this point.
Anyway, I wanted to show you that. Plus, uh, I wanted to tell you uh, right now the the gap that I've got is basically a sixteenth of an inch between the core of this guy and the magnets, which is uh, about 1.59 millimeters and so it's, it's pretty close and that seems to be a good spot I, like I say I'm playing with that I'm gonna keep playing with that also this magnet is centered right over the magnets basically and these things are just a little the magnets are just a little bit wider than the core of that coil let's see what else I want to tell you Oh, and I, I recalculated the number of turns, and it's pretty darn close to 350 turns. And that is, uh, I think that's 26 gauge and 22 gauge, whatever. I said that in my coil building video. So anyway, um, what else? Diodes. Oh, I wanted to show you that diode again. It was a crappy shot time before. Anyway, simple little, uh, uh, what is it again? A UF3003. I just soldered some wires on it. And, uh, power supplies are great sources of all sorts of parts. You know, you got these heat sinks which have uh, these uh, shocky diodes on them and uh, you've got bridge rectifiers um, also some transistors and um, voltage regulators on these things a few diodes and you know if you want to play with transformers you got some to play with there tons of these uh, um, Whatchamacallit's can't remember the name right now. Anyway, uh, uh, and lots of capacitors. That where I got all those capacitors from was all these old power supplies laying around. So lots of stuff to scrounge out of those. Anyway, I guess that's all for now. Alright, take care everybody.